क्लास इलेवन अकाउंटेंसी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन प्रेजेंटेड बै एडक्सी डाट काम इन दिस वीडियो वे आर गोइंग टू प्रोवैड ट्रयल बैलेंस अंड रेक्टिफिकेशन आफ एर प्रॉब्लम फोर सोल्यूशन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज एस फॉलोस रेक्टिफ द फॉलोइंग एरर्स A. Salary paid five thousand rupees was debited to employee's personal account. B. Rent paid four thousand rupees was posted to landlord's personal account. C. Goods withdrawn by proprietor for personal use one thousand rupees were debited to sundry expenses account. D. Cash received from Kohli two thousand rupees was posted to Kapoor's account. E cash paid to babu 1500 rupees was posted to sabu's account Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars let us first do a small recap in case of assets or expenses or losses any increase in any of these should be debited and any decrease should be credited whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains any increase in any of these should be credited and any decrease should be debited let us also do a quick recap about the classification of errors based on nature of the errors in accounting all the possible errors can be classified into the categories errors of commission errors of omission errors of principal and compensating errors we have already discussed the errors of commission and errors of omission in the previous problems as we have to deal with errors of principle in this problem let us discuss a bit further about it as you know the accounting entries should be recorded as per generally accepted accounting principles when any of these principles are violated or ignored errors resulting from such violation are known as errors of principle These errors of principles may also result due to the incorrect classification of expenditure or receipt between capital and revenue. It is very important that these errors should be identified and rectified as these errors will have an impact on the financial statements. As a result, the income or assets or liabilities may be overstated. For example, consider the case wherein a firm decided to expand its building facility. The amount spent on additions to the building should be treated as capital expenditure and hence it must be debited to the assets account instead of debiting it to the assets account if it is debited to the maintenance or repairs account it will be treated as revenue expenditure and this is an error of principle because the assets are classified as expenses another example is the case wherein the purchase of machinery is recorded in the purchase book instead of the journal proper hope you remember the fact that we should record only purchase of goods on credit in the purchases book i repeat only the purchase of goods on credit should be recorded in the purchases book so if the purchase of machinery is recorded in the purchases book it is an error of principle because the amount spent on the machine is capital expenditure and the amount spent on the goods is revenue expenditure so here the capital expenditure is incorrectly classified as revenue expenditure so this is an error of principle another example is the case wherein the rent paid to the landlord is recorded in the cash book as payment to the landlord actually it was supposed to be recorded in the rent account right because rent is an expense let us now consider a case wherein 5000 rupees spent on overhauling the machinery were recorded as machine repair expenses so in this case the machine repair account is debited with 5000 rupees and the cash account is created with 5000 rupees here i am assuming that the payment is done in cash the payment could also be through check and in such a case we have to credit the bank account instead of the cash account if you see this recording there is a violation of the principle of accounting taking place the correct entry should have been to debit the machine account with 5000 rupees and to credit the cash account with 5000 rupees we don't have any issue with the credit to the cash account it is done correctly the incorrect classification is with the account that is debited 
as the debit to the machine repair account is an error of principle, we need to rectify it by making a reverse entry. As the machine repair account is debited here, the reverse entry would be to create the machine repair account. So, we should debit the machine account as it is the account that should be debited as per the accounting principle. To summarize, the machine account which is the correct entry should be debited and the machine repair account which is erroneously debited should be created in the error rectification entry. This is how it is done. Now, with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors in the given problem. Let us start with the first error. Here, 5000 rupees of salary paid to the employee was debited to employee's personal account. So, the effect of wrong entry is to debit the employee's personal account and assuming that the payment of salary is in cash, the cash account is created. As you can see from the recap, this is an error of principle. Now, let us see what the correct entry should have been. As this is payment of salary and as the salary is an expense, we should debit the salary account. At the same time, as the payment of the salary is done in cash, we should credit the cash account. As you can see, this is done correctly even in the erroneous recording. So, we don't have any error with creating to the cash account. So, we can leave it aside as it is entered correctly. The error is with the debiting of the employee's personal account. To rectify this error, we need to reverse this entry by creating the employee account. So, the rectification entry should be to debit the salary account with 5000 rupees and to credit the employee account with 5000 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the title as General Recordings to Rectify the Errors. I repeat, this is not just journal, it is general recordings to rectify the errors. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, ledger folio, debit amount in rupees and credit amount in rupees. As the date is not given, let us just write the serial number in the date column. Let us now enter salary account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us now write the debit amount of 5000 rupees in the debit amount column. That completes the recording of this debit entry. Let us now record the credit entry. As you know, the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin. They also start with 2. Let us now write employee account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 5000 rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Let us now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as salary paid to the employee, error rectification recording was erroneously credited to the employee's personal account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, 4000 rupees of rent paid to the landlord was debited to landlord's personal account. So, the effect of wrong entry is to debit the landlord's personal account and assuming that the payment is in cash, the cash account is credited. As you can see from the recap, this is an error of principle. Now, let us see what the correct entry should have been. As this is payment of rent and as the payment of rent is an expense, we should debit the rent account. At the same time, as the payment of the rent is done in cash, we should create the cash account. As you can see, this is done correctly even in the actual recording. So, we don't have any error with creating to the cash account. So, we can leave it aside as it is entered correctly. The error is with the debiting of landlord's personal account. To rectify this error, we need to reverse this entry by creating the landlord's account. So, the rectification entry should be to debit the rent account with 5000 rupees and to create the landlord's account with 5000 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write rent account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 4000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record landlord's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 4000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this transaction as rent paid to the landlord, error rectification recording, 
was erroneously credited to the landlord's personal account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of journalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the journalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, 1000 rupees worth of goods withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use were debited to the sundry expenses account. So, the effect of wrong entry is to debit the sundry expenses account and to credit the purchases account. As you can recall from the recap, this is an error of principle. Now, let us see what the correct entry should have been. As this is drawing of goods by the proprietor and as all the drawings will be maintained in the drawings account, we should debit the drawings account. At the same time, as this is drawing of goods and as these goods are drawn from the purchased goods, the purchases are reduced and hence we should create the purchases account. So, we don't have any error with creating to the purchase account. So, we can leave it aside as it is entered correctly. The error is with debiting to the sundry expenses account. To rectify this error, we need to reverse this entry by creating the sundry expenses account. So, the rectification entry should be to debit the drawings account with 1000 rupees and to create the sundry expenses account with 1000 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the drawings account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 1000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record sundry expenses account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 1000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this transaction as being goods drawn by the proprietor for personal use, error rectification recording was erroneously debited to the sundry expenses account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, 2000 rupees of cash received from Kohli was posted to Kapoor's account. So, the effect of wrong entry is to debit the cash account and to credit Kapoor's account. Note that this is not error of principle. It is error of commission wherein the amount was posted to a different personal account. Now, let us see what the correct entry should have been. As this is a case wherein the cash is received, the cash account should be debited and as the cash is received from Kohli, Kohli's account should be created. As you can see, the cash account is debited correctly, so we don't have to worry about it. The error is with creating Kapoor's account instead of Kohli's account. To rectify this error, we need to reverse this entry by debiting Kapoor's account with 2000 rupees. So, the rectification entry should be to debit Kapoor's account with 2000 rupees and to credit Kohli's account with 2000 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write Kapoor's account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 2000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record Kohli's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this transaction as being cash received from Kohli, error rectification recording was erroneously posted to Kapoor's account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, 1500 rupees of cash was paid to Babu, but it was erroneously posted to Sabu's account. So, the effect of wrong entry is to create cash account as cash payment decreases the cash asset and to debit Sabu's account as the payments are usually done to creditors on account and the liability of the business decreases when the payment is done to the creditors. Note that this is not error of principle. It is an error of commission wherein the amount was posted to a different personal account. Now, let us see what the correct entry should have been. As this is a case wherein the cash payment is done to the creditor, the creditor Babu's account should be debited. And as the payment is done in cash, the cash asset is decreasing and hence the cash account should be created. As you can see, in both the cases, the cash account is created correctly. So, we don't have to worry about it. The error is with debiting Sabu's account instead of Babu's account. To rectify this error, 
we need to reverse this entry by crediting Sabu's account with 1500 rupees. So the rectification entry should be to debit Babu's account with 1500 rupees and to credit Sabu's account with 1500 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write Babu's account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 1500 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record Sabu's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 1500 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this transaction as being cash paid to Babu. Error rectification regarding was erroneously posted to Sabu's account. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries, and that is the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.